Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So guys, we're going to talk about Dr. Jeffrey Beck today, okay? And with the, 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 the recent acquisition of Dr. Wallen's <laughs> lost interrogation of footage. I remember that there was another doctor in the early sting, and I couldn't remember this goofball's name, and I finally found, found him. This is Dr. Jeffrey Beck, right? And unfortunately, he was on the Virginia sting, and, uh, yeah, he never went to jail, but he did get his license pulled. So this is the article from back in the day. If you guys want to see some funny stuff, look, try and find some of the old articles from when these knuckleheads got <laughs> appeared on the show. So guys, we're going to jump into this. But before we do, guys, please remember to like, subscribe, drop a comment. It helps keep this channel going. Join the Discord. I dropped that link during the lives. Uh, and yeah, guys. <laughs> and I try to go live Tuesdays and Thursdays, guys. Uh, but check the Discord and the, and the community tab just to make sure the times are right. Anyways, look at this. Dr. Beck, back on Dateline, former Shore Health System doctor, Cotton Sting, conducted by TV show. Look at that. Look at that. So this describes his transgression. Dr. Jeffrey Beck, who lost his local emergency room job as a result of the Dateline NBC sting on men allegedly soliciting minors for sex, will appear on a follow-up program tonight at 9. Huh. Maybe I have to find that, that follow-up. Did you do like an interview after the fact or what? Beck showed up to meet with a person that he believed to be a 14-year-old boy. He was 51, only to be confronted by Dateline reporter Chris Hansen. So the person Beck had been chatting with online was actually a volunteer from Perverted Justice. We kind of know how this works, but look. <laughs> um, da -da -da. While many of the men ran away when they saw Hansen, Beck stuck around, apparently believing Hansen to be either the boy's father or a law enforcement officer. Per Perverted Justice has, has led to and this is 2006, guys. Has led to 38 convictions, according to its web website. No charges have been filed against Beck. When Shore Health Systems confirmed ru rumors that Beck would appear in the program, his privileges to practice at the hospital were revoked. He was relieved of his duties on November 3rd, the day that the program aired. Beck worked in two emergency rooms under the contract with the Eastern Shore Emergency Medicine Physicians LLC and specialized in pediatrics. Oh no! And trauma medicine. So he was a, a pediatrician. Oh man. Man, oh man, oh man. And they talk about John Ken Kennelly too. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so Mary Ann Jennings of the Fairfax County Police Department said under Virginia law, Beck does not fall into her department's jurisdiction. The mere fact that he showed up to the house is not a crime. The, the potential crime would be the act of soliciting sex, and the jurisdiction would be where the solicitation occurred. So because he, he his computer was not in Fairfax County, they have to prosecute them in a different county. Oh, okay. Look, at, a Maryland General Assembly bill signed into law last year made using the internet for soliciting sex from a minor illegal. No charges been filed in Anne Arundel County where Beck owns a house. Look at that. They did say that there's a moving van. So he was like, uh-uh, I'm getting out of here. So, guys, here's the chat log. I don't think that it's too long, but we can get get through it here. There's some sex stuff in here. Uh, you know, get, you guys know how I am about reading sex stuff. I'm not, I'm not really about to <laughs> read, read all that foolishness. So, okay, here we go. Look at that old picture of, of Dell. <laughs> Look at that, man. Look at her. Look at that. And she's got the pooks on, too. <laughs> she's probably like, guys, please stop using that picture, please. You know, anyways. So uh, what does he call himself? G G G B A B B N S P. I don't even know what that stands for. Gababanabasa. <laughs> so anyways, he talks... To the decoy that calls himself Marlboro Twenty One Seventy, he goes, "Hi, sup?" 
How are you today? Bored. What would make you not bored? I don't know. Where are you from? Near D.C. Cool. Herndon, Virginia. Ah, uh, cool. Herndon, Virginia. How old are you? 14? You? 50? So, so he lied about his age. So instead of saying he is 51, he said he's 50, right? Damn. You look that old? No. Got a pick? Why? See if you look that that old. You got one? Yep. You first then. Sent. Sent back. <laughs> nice. I, I mean, nice. You're hot for an old dude. <laughs> hey guys, like I said, dude, like I said, these guys have to know that this is a setup. When they send their random pick a picture out and someone goes, oh, wow, you're cute, dude. You know what I mean? And guys, if they honestly believe that, <laughs> if, if these knuckleheads honestly believe that, that if this guy would honestly believe that any random person would find him attractive, well, well, you know what? You know, you guys know what Malcolm X would have to say to him. You've been had. You've been took. You've been. Anyways, okay, so he goes, uh, you rich? Thanks. I think, no. What do you do for coin? Medicine? Doctor? Yeah, cool. You got coin? Not much. You want a boyfriend? Wouldn't mind. Man, this decoy is rather forward, right? How far... Are you from me? About 45 minutes. You got a cool pad? Cool enough. I like you. Thanks. You're not saying lots. You're only 14 and mostly interested in how rich I am and how cool my pad might, might be. No, I think you're hot. <laughs> not bad yourself. I want a real boyfriend. What are you into? Uh, effing and other stuff. What do you say? Done it before. Yep. What else do you like? Brews and smokes? <laughs> like kissing an ashtray? If you don't like it, I won't. I'd paddle you for it if you were my kid or my boyfriend. Yuck! Right? LOL. Don't think you'd be laughing. You, see you into that kinky-ish? That's about as kinky as I get. All good. Though, though for smoking, it wouldn't be kinky-ish. It's just when at parties, it's cool. What do you do at parties? Drink, smoke, hang. Oh, okay. What else do you like to do? Not lots to do here. Loads to do in the district, though. Dude, he's four. Okay. <laughs> I don't drive. Uh, Okay. Did you get boo booted? Yeah. So what do you want to do? Uh, excuse me. So what do you want to do with your boyfriend? What boyfriends do? Have lot, lot, lots of sex and go see movies and stuff. What would you like sexually? What'd you say? Uh, what would you get hot? What would, what would get you hot though? I like old guys because they know... What, what to do and, and like them to tell me to do stuff. How do you feel about kinky stuff? If it don't hurt too much, it's okay. Ever been spanked? By my dad, but not for sex. Could it be fun for sex? I can try. Would you want to spank a dad? <laughs> Okay, okay. That would be hot. How did your dad spank you? Not long. You be here later. I gotta go. Okay. I gotta call you later. Maybe. See ya. Okay. So then that's 11.54. So now it's 2.26. Back. 
I wonder if he's at the hospital when he's doing this. Back. Cool. So, nothing. I keep looking at your pick. I think you're hot. Thanks. So what kind of doc are you? ER. Cool. Like on TV. Pretty much. I want to be an actor. You sure? Totally. I love TV. It's not... It's not all like t TV. I know it's hard, but I can do it. When are you going to turn 15? I just turned four, 14. Cool. No, I want a cell phone, but no. Clothes? What? I can't go to school na naked. Okay. <laughs> Everyone else got a cell phone. So my mom would have said... If everyone else jumped off a roof, would you too? But I understand. Where are you from? I forgot. Annapolis, not far from you. So my dad takes off Wednesdays to Saturdays, so his party is essential. Where's your mom? St. Louis, who watches you when your dad's away? No one. I don't need that ish. I'm not a baby. I know you're not a baby, but 14 is kind of young to be left entirely on your on your own for four days a week he does it all the time he doesn't care now wonder you want a boyfriend only reason that i'm here is because my grandma's too sick to take me i'd take you okay they're casanova right okay uh da -da 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 -da. uh tell the judge that i guess it's better here because he does get, get, get me stuff, and my mom can't blow all the money that he's sending to me. What kind of stuff? A computer, Xbox, food. So what grade are you going to be in this year? Freshman, ninth. How are your grades? Good. It's easy. Going to be a lot harder pretty soon. But they have to be good if, if you want to be a doctor. I got my dad's brains. I don't know if, I, if, I, if my mom had any before she fried them. Uh, hold up. I want to be an actor. She's a druggie. Yep. What does he do? So what kind of actor? Well, he does lobby stuff and tells senators what to do. I want to be on TV like Joey. Does he even know you like guys? He doesn't even know I'm here. Sounds like he need a hug badly. Oh, look, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be the perv, perv with a heart of gold, right? Okay. Uh, I'm fine. Hugs are nice, though, dude. I guess. Does he ever spend any time with you? His girlfriend lives in his house in Cape May, and sometimes I go with him, but she's a see you next Tuesday. <laughs> and even when you go, he ignores you because he's busy with her, right? Kind of. Have any brothers or sisters? If I go to the breach, then... I bring sand in the house, and I get yelled at it. If I stay in the house, and then I'm not outside. Always this, always that. I got a sister, but she's in St. Louis. So, so, so you're all by yourself from Wednesday to Saturday? Yep. Love, love it. Ever seen live theater? On TV? Not with living people in a theater, though. Plays at school? Ever go out to dinner? Yeah, but... Can only answer no one ask, but yeah, but can only answer no asking. You mean you can go, someone else asks you. Like, it's with people my dad knows, if they ask, I can answer, but I can't ask. So if I asked you out to dinner, it wouldn't be okay? No, I would go. You don't get it? Like, we go to dinner and have to dress up, and we eat with, like, a senator... And wife and maybe their kids. Well, I can only talk if someone's asking me something. Oh, that has to suck. And it's Sir. And it's Sir Mame? I don't know. I don't know any senators. They suck. Well, that's, that's, like, that's like the truest thing that any decoy has ever said on To Catch a Predator. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay. But you wouldn't have to dress up for me. I got good clothes for dinner, lots of them. So the maid takes me shopping lots. What would you do though, if it were up to you? Go hang in the city, see stuff. Like what? I keep asking to go to that big museum. The Smithsonian? Yep, I guess one day M Millie can take me. I need to go for a while. Will you be here later? And can I call call you? Probably later. And gotta run now. Then he gives his number. Uh, so this is 7.30 and they, they logged off at <clears throat> 2.54. Hi. I was freaking out. I was freaking you did not like, like me. I like you lots, Luke. I like you lots. Uh, you got class, not like all sex and use me stuff. I'd like very much to be your friend. I don't think I even want to have sex with you until you're old enough for us to both not get in trouble. Lot, lots more friendship than sex for sure. Um, I would not, not tell. I've done it before. Once we know each other well, whatever happens, happens, but I won't meet you for sex. Wow, you're nice. Yes, I am. And you need a friend who won't take advantage of you, and I'd, and I'd like having you for a friend. Can we make out? After we know each other. Whatever would happen, would happen. I'm not saying no. I'm, I'm saying that is not the reason I'd like to meet you. That's not sex. I'd like to take you to the Smithsonian, which is actually like a bunch of museums. I want to go so, so bad and I can use my clothes so I don't make you look stupid. I'd wear jeans or shorts. You don't need to wear good clothes for that. How close are you to the Metro? <laughs> Excuse me. He says, how close are you to the Metro? It's far. Gotta take the bus. Would the maid drop you off? Nope. Not for no reason. Not allowed to go into D.C. Unless Dad or her goes. Which, muse so which museum are you most interested in? The Smithsonian. So Smithsonian is actually 14 different museums in different buildings. Can walk. And then he, he leaves the Smithsonian's website. <laughs> I gotta stay in my room now. The new... Uh, the new air and space isn't far from you, near to, near Dallas. Why? Did you do something wrong? I'm going to buddy list you. Uh, message or email me anytime. I got buddied. No, tomorrow night, a Senator Levin's coming for a dinner with a lot of pe people. Imagine this decoy just like <laughs> Googling senators as he's in the middle of this chat. <laughs> oh, man. So Millie and her sister is fixing stuff. Uh and you know your uh and you know your dad. I've never met him, but if you think he'd let me take you to museums if you met me, I wouldn't have a problem with that. Just tell him that we're that we're talking about museums or something. Oh god, look at this guy. And not where we met. Nope, he'd freak. Then the choices are to be friends online. Or for you to get somewhere we can meet without him knowing. I can do do that. He's he's never here. Are you interested in natural history or art or space or... Space sucks. Like, it's all just like what they think I like. I like history a lot. Check out the website. Let me, me know. <laughs> Guys, they're talking about all this museums and history and... <laughs> A perverted justice chat log. This is hilarious. Okay, okay. Um. Um. Uh. One of the most interesting ones, though the saddest, is the World War II bad event that happened. <laughs> Museum. Guys, I don't want to say the actual word because YouTube, I don't know. I don't trust, trust it. So that's all about history. I'm a member there. Uh, like the bad German guy from that time? He was a brainwasher and really evil. Besides being a brainwasher. 
No, but the Catholics did too. Did what? So they went on crusades and killed lots. If you didn't like uh, Jesus, it was a very different time. Not that what they did was right, but they've come a long way since the crusades, which the Muslims haven't. And neither have the, uh, <laughs> far, the, anyways. Um, I read lots, I can tell. Did you like historical fi fiction? No, nonfiction. Like Harry Potter's for, sorry guys, I can't say that word. <laughs> it's, it's stupid. I like Harry Potter. <laughs> it's stupid. He's saying other words, guys, but well, I'm, I'm not going to read that here. Da, 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 da. Look at that. He said, I like the mustache man. He, he says the name. I, I like the mustache man from the 30s. Because he built this road that, that goes to a mountain where he got a house called the Eagle's Nest. Yeah, he built a lot of roads and sort of invented the Volkswagen car. He only got one ball. One more than he needed. What? He only got one ball. I don't know. Anyways, I'm good at history. I met some of the people who have exhibits about them at the museum when I was a, t a teenager. I love the movie Hindenburg. I like, I like the Poseidon adventure. It's great to know history since anyone who doesn't know it is destined to repeat it. Oh, look at this sage-like child molester, right? Come on. Uh, da, da, da. let's skip ahead, guys. Honestly, uh, what would you want to talk talk about? You being my boyfriend, like for real, like all the time. What do you want us us to do? Be boyfriends? How? Like you love me and I love you, and then no one hurts me no more. I'd like for you to to never be hurt again, at least not more than a swat on the butt. It's it's deserved. I swear I won't be bad. Everybody is sometimes, even me, but but way rather cover you with hugs and kisses. You want to hit me? No. I want to cuddle you and make you feel safe and loved and cared about. I want that. You'll have it. Sounds like you have you had more than enough bad things happen to you. Uh, can I call you later? Blah, blah, blah. Got to skip past that. Here we go. Uh, hi. Hi. A dinner over already? LOL, you, just, you didn't answer your phone. It died. You can call on call now if you want. I like your voice. I hate my voice. It sounds like a girl. No, you don't. You sound like a young man whose voice is changing. You sound nice. You don't sound anything like a, like a, like a girl. I keep looking at your pig. I've looked at yours too. I thought you had some dinner with a senator tonight. No, I hate those. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The the decoy messed up. I think that they forgot where they were in the chat because this was the next day and he was supposed to have that dinner. Oops. And his knucklehead still didn't ca ca catch that. That's hilarious. Um, They're talking about museums. Okay. Um, mm, I went to swim practice and then tennis and home. I haven't been swimming in a while. I was on the varsity swim team as a freshman for about a week. Dad makes me. I quit. Every time that I get into the pool, seniors would deep pants me. Probably think it was funny today, but I was outraged back then. Uh, da da da. All right, all right, let's skip ahead, guys. This is ridiculous. Okay, so he says, Hi, hey, what's up? <laughs> Not a thing. You bored? So what movie you watch? Wedding Crashers. Oh, guys, who remembers Wedding Crashers, man? Wedding Crashers movie. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, this movie's awesome, dude. Who <laughs> Who remembers the scene where Will Ferrell is like, dude, I I don't crash weddings. I, ca I crash funerals now. <laughs> and he goes, and he kisses that hot girl. He's like, yeah, man, her boyfriend died in a hang gliding accident. 
Look at me on top of the world. I'm, I'm, I'm hang gliding. Oh no, I'm dead. Idiot. <laughs> oh man, Owen Wilson, Vince Vaughn, dude. Look at that. Look at that. And then this girl too. Uh, was it Isla, Isla Fisher? Is her name Isla? Isla Fisher? Yeah, she's all crazy. She's married to Borat, right? I think, yeah, she is. Yes, she is. Anyways, guys, if you want to hear one of so the worst accents in the world in a film, Rachel McAdams. <laughs> when she was, I think it was Sherlock Holmes. She was trying to do an accent. I think like an American ac accent. Is she British? No, she's Canadian. I think she was either trying to do like an American ac accent or a Southern accent. It was terrible. And then, and then, um, uh, I hate to do this. Uh, uh, um, so Keanu Reeves, he was in. I think it was like Pride and Prejudice. Um, hold on. English accent. Um Wait. He thought he was doing a a British accent in Constantine? No way. No way. That can't be true. That can't be true, man. Dude, man, what was he? What, what was he in, guys? You guys probably know. It was either like Pride and Prejudice, or it was uh, like Little Women, or one of those move movies. And in Dracula too, it was bad. But Keanu Reeves cannot do an English accent, man. He just can't. And then the other one, guys, was um, uh, Robin Hood. Let's see. Oh, I can't spell today, guys. Sorry. Kevin Costner. <laughs> his his English accent was so bad that they were like, dude, here, just don't even try it, right? Everyone else in the movie is going to have an accent except you. <laughs> and that's why in, in, in Men in Tights, Carrie always goes, unlike other Robin Hoods, I can speak with an English accent, right? And then even Christian Slater had an accent. You know what I mean? And he's not the best actor in the world. So, any oh, and then last one, guys. Sophie Turner, man. Man, oh man, oh man. Her American accent in any of the X-Men films is horrible. <laughs> it's terrible. She just goes in and out of it. It's crazy, man. It's like everyone else notices it except her. So, anyways, I digress. Uh, so, she said she's freaking out, um, they plan the meeting, and guys, let's just get into the segment, and thanks to Stacey Babs for po posting this, man, Pre appreciate that, look at that, man, that's an accurate TSX, look at that, man, you guys know that these were Japanese acc accords, right, so let's look at the, check this out. Accord Euro R. Look at this. So, this is what this car was. This is the TSX, right? But this was the Accord, uh, which was smaller, okay? So, there's two different models of Accords. There's one in Japan, and there's one in, um, in, in, in the U.S., right? And um, they brought the Japanese um, and European... Accord over as the TSX. Yeah. Anyways, look at that. Look at how different it looks. Pretty cool stuff. Anyways, so this guy has a TSX. <laughs> I'd consider trustworthy. You'll never guess what this man. Look at how this guy walks. Like, does, it, does he have a bad hip or something? Look at that. Look. Never guess what this man, screen name GBABB and SP, does for a living. 
Come on in. I just spilled Diet Coke all over my shorts. He's an emergency room doctor. Uh, uh, uh. Look at that. Look at that. I wonder how tall this guy is. You know, he looks like he's like five foot five or something. So Chris Hansen has got a tower over him, you know? Dr. Jeffrey Beck, a 50-year-old, is here to meet a boy he thinks is 14. I'll be right back, Donna. Watch how he tries to follow. This is just, I can come follow you. Oh, our decoy upstairs. <laughs> when I confront the doctor, he's. Chris Hansen. <laughs> he walks out of this dark thing like friggin' Freddy Cougar or something in a, in a bad dream. <laughs> He walks out like Michael Myers, dude. Look, look. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Chris, 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 Chris. When I confront the doctor, he says he had no intention of having sex with the boy. He only came here because he felt badly for the teen who was left home alone. He was so anxious to have some... He's another one, guys, where his face isn't very expressive, but look at his eyes, man. Look at his eyes. He kind of looks like the lead singer of Live, right? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Or, I might be wrong. <laughs> lead singer Live band. <laughs> guys, Live is the shit, man. They're a good band, man. I remember them. Man, I think I I still have, like, their first three CDs. Yes, CDs out in my car, man. Look at that. Yeah, hold on. Let's see. Back to back here. Boom. Ah! <laughs> oh, I feel it coming back again. <laughs> Either that or he looks like Michael Stipe, dude. Yeah, who remembers, um, what's his name? Michael, jeez, I can't spell, Stipe. Uh, R.E.M., that's their name. Dude, man, Michael, Michael Stipe has looked sickly, like, his whole life. Like, look at that. And, and the, as he gets older, he just looks like, he actually looks healthier there than he's looked. But man, he looked old when he was young. You know what I mean? Look at him, like, dude needs to like drink some milk and do some push-ups, bro. Like, what is going on? You know, like ever since he was young, he just looked really, really frail. I think frail is the word. And it's funny because like, <clears throat> he's got the Maynard from from Tool look, but Maynard doesn't look uh, sickly, right? The Maynard. Maynard. Yeah, see? See, Maynard looks a lot more healthy. You know what I mean? And it's funny that uh, they're like, oh, well, <laughs> Maynard dressed in drag and wore women's clothes to protest the, uh, the something about drag shows. Dude, Maynard's been wearing women's clothes on stage since the 90s. Like, what are you guys talking about? You know what I mean? <laughs> guys, Tool's one of my favorite bands. I have to say, they're in my top three. Favorite bands of, of, of all time. If you don't listen to Tool, guys, you gotta listen to Tool, man. Yeah, awesome. Look at look at old school Maynard, man. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look, he was in the military. Guys, I'm so off topic. <laughs> all right. Anyways, anyways, anyways. I digress. Back to this knucklehead right here. company when he was left by himself for four days, but under circumstances it sounded neglectful. So you're the good Samaritan. That's correct. Look at, look at the conviction. Look. That's correct. 
That's correct. During his online chat, the doctor was not as sexually explicit as many of the others who showed up. In fact, after we read to you part of the chat, you'll see he seemed to choose his words carefully. I'd like very much to be your friend. Yeah. I don't think I even want to have sex with you until you're old enough. So, I so in the first uh, uh, investigation, they had Dell and someone else reading the the parts, but I guess they have some more funding. So, like, let's hire a narrator huh? for both of us not to get in trouble over it. Lots more to friendship than sex for sure. I would not tell. I'd done it before. Once we know each other well, whatever happens, happens. But I won't meet you for sex. But he does suggest getting physical. After talking about covering the teen with hugs and kisses, the 50-year-old says to the decoy who he thinks is 14, I want to cuddle you and make you feel safe and loved and cared about. Experts in this field say that kind of a discussion is consistent with somebody who's grooming a young boy what is he for sex. What is he eating? Guys, I didn't see anything on the table. What did I miss? <clears throat> Guys, drop in the comments what that could be, because I missed it. You see what I'm getting at? Mm -hmm. What's really Is going on? Is he chewing gum? I think he's chewing gum. What's really going on was I came over to take him out for lunch. Mm -hmm. You ask, have you ever been spanked? He says, by my dad, but not for sex. No, we did You gum. say, could it be fun for sex? He Guys, he has one of those necks that looks like a pack of hot dogs. <laughs> I'm bald, guys, but my head doesn't look like that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. He says, I can try. You say, I want to spank a dad. Now, you see how that looks. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. The doctor maintains he would never do anything illegal, but acknowledges a meeting like this. But there must have been some cookies or something on that on that plate right there. Conveniently placed, right? Could appear inappropriate. Now, if you had a teenage son who was home alone, mm -hmm. would you be comfortable with a 50-some-year-old man coming into the house for a visit? I suppose it would depend on the 50-year-old oh, man. Oh, that's bullshit, and you know it. That is BS, and you know it, dude. Well, it would depend on the type of guy. <laughs> It would depend on if he was serious about taking him to the Smithsonian or not. <laughs> oh, oh, guys. Oh, guys, these predators, man. Come on. But in general, no. I wouldn't. Men, you would. So, guys, that's this knucklehead right here. This is before they had the cops involved, so he didn't get any jail time, but he did lose... He did get... He, he lost his job, right? And I haven't heard of an update recently. They did, they did say that Chris Han Hansen saw that he was on some medical, like he was practicing re recently on like a doctor's list. So he called that and asked him for some information and the person hung up and then that listing got taken down. So guys, this guy had a, you know, he's an idiot, right? It's bad enough that you're, a pervert, right? But just like these, like, if, if you're a doctor and you spend like 12 to 13 years and probably getting hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt for your degree and the practice, right? And you, you literally spent most of your life studying, you know? Or like even a lawyer and then you throw it away, do just either like these doctors who make pill mills or whatever, or, they're, they, or they do all this silly stuff. It's like, what? You... <laughs> Wasted all that time and effort because you're a knucklehead and a pervert. You should be ashamed of yourself, Jeffrey Beck. So, all right, you guys, short one today. I appreciate you guys. Join the Discord, like, subscribe, and I am out of here. Have a good one, guys.